Cadet, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm ranked private at the Marine Military Academy. Um, I'm a sophomore, just come here, 16 years old, from Austin, Texas. And how did you hear about the Marine Military Academy? Well, my uncle, who just recently passed away, was a Brigadier General in the Marine Corps. He told us about it and thought it was a great school. Now, was this a decision that you made to come here, or did your parents help you make that choice? I decided mostly that I wanted to come here for several different reasons. For the discipline, for grades, and for the flying program. Now, you're part of the flight program. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's called aerospace or the air wing, and it's where you actually get to go into the sky and Cessna 172 aircraft planes. Um, it's, it's a really neat thing. You get practice on simulators, and eventually you can get your private pilot's license. So how do you like it here at MMA so far? The discipline is tough. The food is great. Um, it really helps with your grades. If you want to get into a good college, MMA is the school to go to. Now, how does that work? Why, why does, how does MMA help you get into a good school? Well, if you're looking to go into a military career, then starting at MMA is a great way to start because you'll have military discipline. And even if you're looking for a non-military career, civilian, then the discipline here makes it necessary for you to have good grades. It's, very, it's a very disciplined school, so no matter what, you're going to get A's and B's if you try, even a little bit. So, it's a, it's a great school. You know, uh, Cadet Curry, you were telling me earlier that um, you didn't have uh, good grades before you came here. Tell us about that, if you don't mind, and tell us about how MMA helped you with those grades. Before I came here, I went to a public school, and I was not making the best grades. I wasn't doing that well in school because I just didn't care and I had no motivation. But when I came here, I learned very quickly that if you don't turn your homework in, if you don't do well, uh, it looks really bad because they post the grades every Thursday so everyone in the whole company will know if you're doing good or if you're doing bad. Um, that's a very big motivation booster. And how does that work in the company, uh, the company environment? Um, do your, uh, the cadets that are with you in the company help support you? Uh, tell us about how the drill instructor, for example, helps support you and helps you keep focused on uh, grades and academics. Well, I have to say everyone supports everybody. Like, cadets will help other cadets with their homework. Uh, there's something called CCQ, which is basically study time. And there's a study room, and cadets will all file into that, and if they need help, they'll ask the main cadet or the academic officer, which is another cadet, and everyone pretty much helps everyone. And then the DI, which is the drill instructor, he's sort of the head of the company, he helps, like, he'll post the homework, and if you have questions, you can ask him, and he'll contact your teachers for more information, and uh, everyone just helps everybody. Well, that really sounds like a, a great way, a great system to, uh, to ensure that every, every cadet is successful. Tell us about some of the things that, that you really like about MMA. Well, like I said before, the food is great here. You'll never go hungry. But in all seriousness, the grades is probably the main reason I came here. The school, the teachers are all nice. They're helpful. They have a tutorials every single day if you need help and it's just a very nice general area I mean you live in the barracks with other cadets and everyone's friends there's almost no fights it's very disciplined um, very neat tell us about some of the activities that are available to cadets things that you can get involved in um, to help you uh, become well-rounded Oh, there are all sports of sorts of sports. There's soccer, football, kickball, lacrosse. Well, maybe not lacrosse, but many different types of sports. Then there's drill team, which is where you practice drill. You carry flags, things like that. There's the rifle range, where you can practice your shooting, swimming, uh, cross country, track. 
there's many different types of physical activities you can involve yourself in. And if you're not so much of a physical person, then there are several different clubs that you can also join. Like the chess club, key club, things like that. It sounds like a lot, lot to get involved in. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very interactive program. Now this is your first year, although you're a sophomore. How did that work out for you? Well, as a freshman at my public high school, it just didn't click. School was just not working for us, so we needed another option, and we came to Marine Military Academy. It, it really straightens you out, I'd have to say. So you didn't really have any problems going from a freshman at a regular high school uh, to Marine Military Academy in your sophomore year. That didn't present any problems for you? No problems at all. In fact, even if you're a junior or a senior, it's quite easy to transit from one program to another. Um, you can make friends really fast and it's not hard at all. And what would you like to do after college? Well, I'm currently wavering between being an Air Force pilot and a criminal justice lawyer. Not quite sure which one I want to be when I grow up. But either way, I'll get a great start here at MMA. And uh, what, tell us about the colleges that you might be looking into. Well, for the flight program, I was looking into the Naval Academy. I thought that would be a neat college, and it's supposed to have a great flight program. But for law school, for my main law master's degree, I was looking more for like Yale, Harvard, Texas, other Texas Tech colleges that have a prestigious law program. After all, there's a room called the College Room here at MMA, and it gives you like a head start on deciding which colleges to do. You can never be too prepared. It sounds fantastic. It's really, it sounds like you found your way here and, and you're doing very well. So we're, we're all very proud of you. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say? This is going to go out on Facebook. Um, you can certainly say hello to your, to your parents or your family back home. Well, hello, Mom, Dad, little brother. I have to say that it was, it's a really good experience and it, it's something that you'll never forget. Alright, thank you very much.